What is going on everybody? Welcome back to NB Edits. Today, Nick and I are up here in northern Wisconsin and we're gonna be doing some walleye fishing. That is the target species today. We do not have the most ideal conditions. We are dealing with stronger wind than anticipated and some lovely rain. We love mother nature, but you're not gonna catch walleye sitting on the couch. We figured, you know what? We're gonna go out, battle the storm today and we're gonna get hooked up with some fish. Now we are going to be testing some new products new products that you guys have not seen yet. And uh, I'm just gonna tell you right now, these things might be the new meta. These things are gonna be great. So I'm gonna go ahead, turn the camera over to Nicholas here. What do we got going on, buddy? What's going on, guys? So like Brandon was saying, we're testing out a new product. Uh, this won't be on the market for another month or so. So unfortunately, we can't show you exactly what we're using. I will tell you, we are using a paddle tail, but uh, that's, that's all I'm gonna tell you. Um, what we got going on is we're walleye fishing in a downpour of rain and we're using live scope. I got the live scope in the back right now. We're sitting up on a weed line and we found a mega school. Uh, before pulling out the camera, we already caught about 15 walleyes and probably 16 or 17 casts. So it's been absolutely gnarly. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, they moved a little bit. Looks like, oh, there they are. All right. Take a gander here. It's a little bouncy, but you can see them 60 feet off. Yeah, look at that. So we're sitting in about 12, so 13 feet ahead. of water. 60 feet out. Oh, let me go back. That giant school is what we're after right now. So Nick's going to go ahead and uh, cast out here. This is just insane. <laughs> yeah, they've been absolutely munching. Oh, there he is. There, there he is. One. Crushed it. Oh yeah. Go ahead, toss that out. I can't show you, but this is the targeted species, just a little guy. But again, we're on top of a mega school. Now the thing with this lake is that, yeah, there's a lot of walleyes, but there's also giant walleyes. So every cast, yeah, you'll probably catch a walleye, but like the next cast after this could be a 30 incher. You have zero idea, which makes it so exciting, but yeah. We're out here, we are tossing the new meta bait, catching walleyes. So we're gonna go ahead, put the big camera away before it gets too wet, get GoPros on and smash some walleyes. Oh, there's a pod. 40 feet. Big pod. Big old pod of them. There's more behind it too at about I'm dropping feet. down right on them. I should be able to get hit. cast right now. Same size as the one in the intro, but I absolutely love this. There we go. Yeah, it's pretty much just automatic. This bait is insane. Well, it's really raining now, and the walleyes are still biting. Just missed one, and then caught this one a little bit bigger than the first couple that we've caught. Brandon obviously missed one, and then got broke off. But 
it's a lot of fun. You're probably gonna hear that a lot in this video. I mean, I see why it's there, because it's handy, and it's not like a normal chair. God, they're just crushing this. I need to get back out there. Oh boy. That's two before I can even get hooked back up. What back the heck to back, let's try for three. <laughs> this is nuts. I'm gonna try to catch one more here. And then uh, we're gonna break down and talk to you guys on the specifics of what we're doing. Because we're not doing anything super out of the ordinary. We are doing something that every single one of you guys watching right now can probably do on any body of water that has walleyes in it. And you will catch fish. You won't be using the bait that we have but you can use something very similar to it and duplicate the same method and put a pile of walleyes in the boat. So I'm gonna to try to catch one more here just cause it's very, very addicting. Cause the bites are just insane. They crush it. Even for how small the walleyes are, they're hammering it. Well, no excuses now. Nick took four casts, caught three walleyes. I'm rigged back up and now it's go time. Are you gonna beat me? Do a fish? Yeah. Maybe. I'm not gonna let it happen. <laughs> beat you to it. Yeah, you did beat me to it. One after the other. Are you wet? Ah, oh, I'm so wet right now. It is insane. I'm like shivering and it's not even that cold. But guys, we're pounding walleyes and we're going to take a moment to tell you how we are pounding these walleyes. Now, I'm going to pop up some information for you guys. Now, this is not the exact lake that we are on, but I wanted to show you this is just a random lake that I picked. The contours on what we are looking for. Now this time of the year, water temp right now is 62 degrees. Should actually probably be a little warmer than that this time of the year, but that's what we're dealing with today. Now when you get that like, I'd say 55 to 60, we're kind of right on the tail end, but maybe even 65 degrees. These walleyes are gonna go out to main lake humps. Now that's what we're fishing on this lake. So on this map, you can see, this is kind of the location that we look for. And what's unique about the hump that we're on right now is that there's weeds. Now weeds are a huge thing this time of the year. You're gonna wanna find weeds, green weeds, and uh, you're gonna wanna be like on a hump or like on a shoreline that's got like a deep drop off. But anywhere you can find weeds, find the weed line, and you're gonna find fish. Now what we're doing is using live scope, but if you don't have live scope, you can just use side imaging, scan around, mark where the weed edge is, pull around, spot lock, cast at them. And what we're using to cast on these walleyes is pretty simple. We got a jig, we got a paddle tail. You cast it out and you reel. That's all we're doing. You could probably do a whole bunch of methods, but this is pretty much as simple as it gets. And what you've seen today is that it catches walleyes. Now, we haven't caught anything big. That's because we're just kind of going for uh, big groups, but that's all it is. It's as simple as that. Go find these locations in any lake that really has walleye that you guys are around and you probably should catch fish. Now the nice thing about using a paddle tail also is that you can catch pretty much anything that is in the lake. If there's northern, they're going to eat. Crappie, maybe not bluegill, but perch, walleye, maybe a muskie, bass for sure. So if the walleye aren't biting, you're for sure going to catch other fish as well. So that's what we're doing. As you can tell right now, if Brandon pans over to the live scope. We got that scanning out right now, 70 feet, and these are fish, this is weeds, this is all sand, and we're kind of just like on a drop off right now. So plenty of fish to be had, but I think we're gonna actually end up picking up the trolling motor, moving to a different spot just because we caught about 40 walleyes on this. So we're gonna give it a little bit of a break, go try another spot, see if we can pick off maybe a couple other walleyes, maybe some size, God, there are a ton of walleyes actually down there. Wow. But yeah. we're, we're gonna leave though, <laughs> unfortunately. I think we picked through this pretty good. So I will see you guys at the next spot. 
Well, we have made it to spot number two, and it has finally stopped raining. Now, that is a great thing, but the problem is we are so drenched from it raining for the last two hours that it doesn't even make a difference. I'd almost have it rather be raining so that way I can't tell how wet I am, <laughs> if that makes any sense. But we're at spot number two, and we're going to be working the same thing, uh, except for this spot is not a hump. This is a main shoreline that has a weed edge off of it and then deep water right off of the weed line. So we're going to be just scanning around using the live scope and hopefully find some fish. There's a fish. All right, this fish at spot number two. What do we have though? Is it the targeted species? Feels like it. Oh yeah. A little bit nicer one too. A little bit. Spot number two, and it is the biggest walleye of the day. Nothing crazy, probably only 19 inches or so, but hit it pretty much as soon as it fell. I didn't even really swim the thing. But right now we are in 21 feet of water. So the spot before that we were at, I don't know if I mentioned it, but we were only in 12 feet of water. So uh, the top of that hump, I think went to nine or 10. And this, like I was saying, it's just a gradual shoreline and 23 feet of water, we found weeds. And this one hit first cast out here. So get a release, see if we can catch a few more. We only have a couple, <laughs> we only have a couple more hours um, before we have to get home. So we're probably not gonna fish a whole lot longer, but we're gonna see if we can get a few more and hopefully one of them are gonna be a big one. Nice. Probably the one I missed. It wasn't. Oh, this one. Ooh, got some fight in you gonna bowl flip that one too? Yep. Ah, they're getting almost too large to bowl flip now. There you have it. Same thing, probably about 18, 19 inch walleye. Yeah, just slow rolling it back to the boat and uh, plastics are working out very well for us today. Go ahead and uh, get a release on this guy. See you later, buddy. Nicest one of the day. That's two. We've upgraded twice now in this spot, so who knows, we were chasing schools of fish before and it seemed like we were finding schools of small males right around that 14 to 16 inch range for most of them. And uh, this, this spot here. We're not really marking a whole lot either. No. So maybe the ones that we are marking are a little bigger. Could be. <laughs> wow, that thing hammered it. <laughs> that thing thumped it. Don't mind me. Just Holding down the boat. You gotta have an anchor in the boat, right? Yeah. <laughs> that thing slammed it. So, what we discovered with this spot actually is, as you can tell, Brandon's stuck. That's because there's rocks, nice chunk rock, right before the weeds on a drop off. That's what you're looking I mean, for. <laughs> and there's obviously walleye. So. Brandon, if you don't mind, I might take maybe yeah, you one know, more cast that's, while you're stuck. You got to do we're gonna, your thing. And you then know? we're going to go get a monster. <laughs> oh, wow. Hello. <sighs> just doesn't get old same size all the rest alrighty folks well just got off the water and uh, man had ourselves a pretty great day out there I must say it was uh, pretty brutal conditions I mean it wasn't like anything catastrophic by any means but uh, we definitely got wet we are absolutely 
soaked as you can tell the rain did stop uh, later into the evening here and we were able to take our raincoats off and try to relax try to dry out a little bit but man we hammered some fish today well nick how would you uh how would you say we did out there we got some mosquitoes buddy great <laughs> yeah we did uh really good mosquitoes are really bad right now and i feel so disgusting i mean these jeans and like i thought wearing this like waterproof type it's not even really a rain jacket we weren't really a hundred percent ready for today but no i'm soaked all the way through all layers so drive home is definitely gonna suck but no we did we did good a new bait definitely killed it and i uh, can't wait to actually have the company come out and show you guys what this bait is going to be because as you can tell from today's episode we absolutely hammered the walleyes uh, and it was it was just a crazy time. Yeah, I could have done without the rain, but it is what it is And when you work during the week, you got to kind of take the days as you get them And today was the only day we could go so it was rain or shine We were going real quick before we end today's video This is something that we do not plug in pretty much any video. It's just kind of out there So if you find it then you find it but underneath this you can see we do have our own merch this is just uh, one of the more simple designs that we have, which is just our logo. Our really popular one that we saw a lot of is the Walleye Sunset. Uh, I will post a picture up right now so you can see what that looks like. But if you guys are interested in any of our merch, it goes directly back into our channel. Uh, we use all the money that we get from that back in either trips, camera gear, or, you know, with how times are gas. Uh, but it's our merch if you want to check it out it's nbedits.com or you can go down in the description check it out like i said before we do not plug this uh we don't want to plug it in every video but if you happen to see it and you're wondering and you want to order some that's where to find it well like nick said we uh absolutely clapped some fish out here today and i think we're going to be heading back home so if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to give the video a thumbs up if you have any questions for us leave it down in the comment section below Man, the bugs are really bad out here. We got to get going. But hey, we had some fun. We clapped some walleyes. We're super excited to show you guys the bait of choice. It's coming soon, so stay tuned. Hang with us. It's going to be uh, probably featured here on the channel a lot going forward. Um, Paddle Tails was the trick today. Got out there, hammered some walleyes on the weed lines. So if you guys enjoyed, again, make sure to slap that thumbs up button for us. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for more. We'll see you on the next one. Tight lines from NBN.